So in this video, I'm going to show you the previous batch, Amazon's punch out, how we are going to shop there and then how the item is coming back into our systems. So that we are going to see now. We'll go for the punch out cat box. So there's no doubt. So click on it. We will now create a punch out. We'll now have a look at the punch out cat box. We'll now go to the manage cat box. The third type of catalog is a punch out cat box. So local catalog is completed. Information catalog is completed. The third type of catalog is a punch out catalog. Right? Click on that, create. I will not be able to create because what happens is that punch out, you need to have an e commerce gateway. Let us not take the one which is ready made available. They have a one punch out catalog for Amazon. So all of you have already, uh, what happens for test purposes, they have already tied it with Amazon actually. And then they have created this punch out. Right? So click on it. You can now open up and then have a look. So the supply is Amazon. They have given a site name. And then the supply name, everything, and then they have given a punch out URL. But if you put the punch out URL, you cannot log in. Right? Only through our system only we can log in. Right? We cannot explicitly log in via punch out catalog. It is not possible. It will not show you anything. So it has to come via your e commerce gateway, XML gateway. It has to come via XML gateway. So direct XML. There are three ways of contacting the punch out one is direct CEC XML, one is the direct Oracle Lady XML, and then Oracle Business Network. So you must know this about how to configure that. That is the biggest challenge. And then this supplier will have given a password also. And then these things you can put in a hand. And then he will not give a domain name and then identity also. So one when you fill up everything and then save it, you can test the connection. If the XML gateway is not fully on you can click on the test connection. It will say whether it goes to the supplier's network or not, it will not say. You can click on test connection and go test it. Your connection to the supplier's site is established. That means what? It is no perfect again. So for Oracle, for training purposes, they have created on Amazon uh, punch out catalog and then kept it ready. Now we are going to go to Amazon and then shop it. Got it? Any doubt on the punch out catalogs? So this way you have to create it. And uh, what are the sources options like direct Same sources? Yes. Uh, you can talk to Nathan. Right? Nathan may be having some idea on this because he's a technical guy actually. So through which we can very well establish a connection to the Amazon. This is a technical aspect. Okay. So this we have to talk. Nathan has got a lot of idea about technical. Or <laughs> Biju also has got a good technical idea. So contact them. They may give you idea. If somebody can take a session on this, it will be excellent actually. Uh, but proxy ports we need to be enabled for actually. Yeah, yeah. There are so many things to be done. Not only yeah, proxy, proxy server or proxy port as well as that. A certificate as a certificate URL we need to uh, deploy in the server. So there many set up set up not only there are so many setups. Uh, yes, yes. yes. DBA, DBA parties require as well as uh, no, uh, supply service and some information is required. Then only we can establish the connection. Exactly. Otherwise, we cannot establish. So for the training purposes, they have already established this connection. In doubts in the punch out catalog. This is the third type of panel. Yeah. punch out, yeah. Sir, we have to create punch out catalog, punch out URL, how do we get? Yeah, there is a process, no, right? There is a big process. They will, you have to talk to Amazon, they will now give you this, and then you have to set up this now. You will ask there are so many things, they have given a domain identity also. They are all provided by the, or the Amazon, basically. So, likewise, there are so many things that are available. It's not a small process, it's a big one. This itself is a training program. I try to find out. Which technical team is now giving you punch out? Many people have approached me. Nana, please, please teach out the punch out. Are you, are I, don't, I cannot learn it at this stage. ADF and Java, I cannot learn. So, this is what it is basically required. <clears throat> so, the punch out catalog is ready. It is tested out. We are going to add this Amazon into our content zone. Cancel it. I don't know. Add it over here. This is the third type of catalog which you can make local information and then punch out catalogs. I will not go to the managed content zones and then let me add it. So go there. Let me go in. Jaden. We'll go daddy. So let me add that the catalogs. Let me add let me add Amazon. Amazon. Is that punch out catalog? Now my employee can shop on Amazon. We can now directly go and then shop on Amazon. This is a, this has been visited only for the training actually. Oracle has done it as a special case. It was not available some one or two years back. Now uh, some last year when it did, when it tried the tester connection, it was erroring out. But later on, what happens is they have established the connection also. So I have added it. Thank you, concept. Now, EAP3 can very well shop on Amazon. You don't go there. You don't try to shop on it. Well, again, go to the home icon and then come back. Go to the procurement. 
and then I got the purchase requisition. So this punch out uh, one will not be available anywhere here now, but it will be available on the shop academy. Here is not available. So, but it will be available on that shop academy. When you drop it off, and then it will be available on this. This way it will be available. Not there, not this place. So this is also like what happens one of the content zones like that. So our content zone is there. The remaining, we enabled it for testing it actually, fine. Whether the purchasing news is coming or not, fine, for which we tested, it was not coming. Somebody show you about how it is coming. Let us go to the Amazon. I am not going to shop on Amazon. Sir, for non-catalog requests, the approvals are also sent. Non-catalog requests, what do you want? Approvals will also go for them. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything will go for approval. And everything will go for approval. Whether it is a non-catalog request or catalog request, once the purchase requisition is created, it has to go for approval. Okay. Now, we are now coming to Amazon business. So, this is a URL. So, you know, so, I will not put my name over here. Nana, something like that. So please enter your name. Do not need. Uh, uh, you do not need uh, to set a password. To set a password, choose forgot password on your on your Some messages now given. Okay, click on the short stop. Click on short. I am not shopping on Amazon. Click on shop. Stop shopping. Start shopping. I am not going to find uh, one. So Amazon website has come. Amazon.com with a reference with a normal punch out. Okay? That is what the URL. So go there. Let me shop on this. So go there. Here, such a URL will be having a special price for us. It will not be normally available for other sector. They will be given a special price because we are not going to buy frequently actually. Let us know add the 21.99 is the one point. I will not add it. Logitech uh, one headset is there. Click on our headset. I will not click on it. The headset is now added to the cart. So there is no showing. Fine. Everything is on 21.99. is not showing everything. Let me add to cart. The red headset will go to add to cart. If you want to add to cart, I am getting added. So four year PC peripherals protection plan is also available. If you want, you can buy it. Okay, fine. I will not add it also. So along with the 21.98, I will not add this 12.99 as a protection plan also. Click on it. So two items are getting added now. So they are added. They go there. What happens? The two items are fine. Click on it. And then click on the shopping cart. What happens? You know, come to 21.12, and then everything is there. Fine. Click on it. Fine. Do not check out on this one. If your cart contains items restricted by your organization, remember, one or more items in the cart may not comply with the purchasing standards of your organization. There's no giving a warning. So we added something. We'll not see whether it goes to our uh, requisition page or not. Submit these items for approval. So Oracle normally, what happens at this time, they would not have initiated approval, but in the requisition approval have been initiated. I think here approval is not initiated. Like Submit these items for approval. It will not come back to our area. Now you know, it will not create a requisition straight away. Setting card to your procurement system. The card is not getting sent to the system. It will not create a requisition straight away. You are being redirected to the procurement solution. We got a requisition. Requisition has come for these two items. Now, there is a normal requisition. Now you have to go and then go and submit approval. So, while coming from Amazon to this place, also we can use the approval. Amazon shopping to our requisition form, also we can very well do it. Got it now, fine. This is on the punch outs output now. But how to configure punch out output? That. That <laughs> you attend, you go to appsdistribution.com, they will now conduct training. Otherwise, you ask Rainbow. Rainbow may even teach out the punch out setup. Set. They may be having a training. Got it now? So, yeah. if anybody knows who is conducting a training on punch outs, please post on the Telegram group. Got it? So, both items will come. We are shocked at Amazon and then it has come back as a position. So, this entire process has to be done through technical. Okay, I will now go back to shopping. <clears throat> So we have completed almost everything. We are in the last part of the setup section. You know, in the last part of the setup is not done. 